Again, a story that reflects the idea that a person's Avedis Hashem growth is, is, is affected by what's happening on high. Which leads to a very, very interesting point, which is at the heart of the Maimah we're going to learn tonight. And to some, at least on the surface, this would be, appear to be uh, controversial. And that is, that although the Gemara says, and we all know the Gemara, Hakla B'day Shemaim Chutzma Yiddish Shemaim, everything is in the hands of heaven except the fear of heaven, in other words, God does not interfere with free will. It also says in the Mamari Hasidus, Mishpat Lelekei Yankiv. Mishpat Lelekei Yankiv means that even the Elokus of Yaakov Avinu, which means even our Avoidus Hashem, is judged from on high. The Rosh Hashanah, and throughout our lives, and on various different occasions, our success at the endeavors we undertake in matters of the Spirit. In other words, how much we're going to accomplish by investing the effort and the work that we do has a lot to do with Mishpat Lalekei Yankiv. Hashem determines the degree of our success. This doesn't mean He takes away our free will. It does, however, mean that the free will is complicated. It's not as simple as, you know, whatever I do will translate into a particular effect. Sometimes you'll work very hard and have a smaller return. Sometimes you won't work nearly as hard and have a greater return. Not because here you're working hard and here you're working less hard, but because Milmaila, from on high, there is a determination of Alakei Yankee, even matters of the spirit. And that's what these stories indicate. These stories reflect the idea that although we're exercising free will in our Vedas Hashem, there is a notion of Akadish Baruch Hu, Yisrael, Hashem helps us. And on the other hand, Vestach Ein Machnisen Eisei Bereshus Hashem Akadish Baruch Hu. There are notions where, although man is free to choose his path, there are ideas where Hashem helps, and there are ideas where Hashem isn't helping as much. In the Tanya you have, of course, Eis Ratzin, which appears on a number of occasions. The idea that certain times are auspicious, they're special, and you can accomplish more with the same effort because of the time. This is not meant to undermine free will, but it does complicate it.